Hello again folks, welcome back to the next episode of Doctor playing Skyrim, The Weekend Warrior. In the previous episode we got stuff done. Got we killed the dragon, wow. we More built ourselves some armor which looks really dinky. I'm not that much of a fan of the helmet. But it's protection and it works. Uh, what are we gonna do this episode? Well you guys pointed we're a few things out time. and we're first gonna go I'm do that. So if I'm correct... See, trade some things. If that is what you wish. You have okay, everything. Okay, first thing all. You guys mentioned like um you should give her a two-handed weapon. She's using the Yari. The Yari is really good versus uh Yari is deal reduced damage against armored enemies. I completely read that wrong then, didn't I? I honestly thought this these things would do more damage against the uh, armored enemies. I'm taking that Yari then you keep your dagger. Let's go. I don't claim to be the the finest weapons in armor. Uh, I totally dropped folks, my bad. Do 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 uh, Imperial Armor won't be using that, won't be using that. Or or Stormcloak boots, studded armor. There you go. I'm, I'm gonna sell it. Whatever. What else do we have? Uh, the Yari. Where's the Yari? Hound. It looks like an axe. There you go. Okay, I'm happy again. Okay, you guys mentioned something else as well, uh, which mainly is the fact that oh. I don't have my shield and my sword equipped. That could have gone really, really wrong if I met something that was a lot bigger than I am. Uh, why are you being so problematic? There you go. Um, that I have a lot of gems, etc. on me and I f totally forgot to sell my gems. Derp. So we're gonna go and do that right now. Hey, Bellathor! Everything! Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Amethyst 5. That's gonna give me a lot of monies. One, two. Oh. Three, four, five. Yeah, that's beautiful. Um, in this mod, if you raise your speedcraft, you actually will be getting stronger dragon shouts. So, awesome as well. Ruby. Anything else? Um, I really am not use gonna use that circlet of minor increased speed ever. So there you go. I'm gonna give these gauntlets to um, what's her face outside. Hopefully she can wear it. It'll look good. Yeah, that's it. Thank you, Bellathor. Lots of money again. <laughs> uh, mod changes. I installed when vampires attack. I think Jay Wiley I mentioned it on the video, and um, it makes normal people run away, NPCs, etc., run away from vampire attacks, which is exactly what I've been looking for for like ages. I don't want them to be heroes and go like "yar kill" and then die because. They can't take the heat. So, yeah. I totally agree, dude. So yeah, where were we? We had to go to the Greybeards. So yeah, that that's basically it. We're going to the Greybeards. There you go. That's horsey. Oh yeah. You. Hmm. Um. Trade. If that is what you wish. Let's see if she can actually wear those gauntlets. If not, I'll just keep them for someone else. She can't wield them. That's a pity. Okay, so we're just gonna keep it like that. Let's go. I'm gonna be traveling on my horse to the next area. Um. Simply for the reason that we already 
traveled across this path a few times so you know it makes no sense to travel this again by foot because nothing is gonna happen I assure you ah my buttons are screwed up again off of the horse there you go fixed it, it's a Skyrim bug but it's okay come on And the best part is, we should be meeting one of our new friends um, in this or next episode. And I'm actually looking forward to that. He's a badass. It's a beautiful day in Skyrim again, luckily. Looks like my horse is out of juice. Yes, I will be gathering because this guy will be upping his alchemy for healing potions, poisons and whatnot. Anything to get ahead. That includes little butterflies. Wow, she has a white horse. That, uh, that That's something I wouldn't have expected from Janassa. I know, lots of spam in the top left. My apologies. It's just this wonderful mod. Uh, for those of you wondering what, how this works, um, it's Convenient Horses. And uh, I just love this mod. It, it's such a good mod. Uh, one of the things it does is um, it actually gives you the ability to gather while being on a horse. In uh, close proximity. And I'm happily using that because I think getting off of yours every 5 seconds to guard or something, it's it's way too tedious for a game like this. Uh, especially for a let's play that uh, you know, you're know you supposed to put on YouTube. Is she still with me? She's still with me. Riverwood. There's the poor smith I totally robbed blind. It's okay, I will give it all back. I promise. Ah. Once we uh, get near an area that I haven't explored, I will hop off the horse and horsey will just follow me. And that is more or less the uh, way I will, uh, or I am planning to be playing. The main reason for this is, um, well, you guys, you guys all mentioned that, you know, hey, um, we want to see you more walking and less rushing, so that's what we're going to do. Still going the, yeah, I'm going the right, no, I'm absolutely not going the right way because I'm completely derping. <laughs> I needed to go north in Riverwood. See, it's because I'm talking to you guys that I'm just, like, you know, continuously talking and then I completely forget where I was going. Totally my bad, folks. My, my apologies. See, we need to be on that ledge over there. That's okay. It, it happens. It happens. So I passed the 1000 subscribers earlier today, like really early today, and I was just completely ecstatic about it. Uh, I couldn't stop talking about it because, you know, it, it's awesome. And I want to thank all of you guys who have been here and those of you who have joined. Uh, really thank you for enjoying my videos and I hope you will enjoy the future videos. And I would like to say that... Uh, there will be a video probably prior to this one already uh, sent out. Uh, if you haven't seen it, make sure you see it. Because I'm planning a lot of things uh, this this very week. Um, some of the things that I'm planning to do is a uh, game giveaway. Like, you know, there will be some good games. I already uh, got a few. 
I can tell you that I will be giving out a twice Hardfire for Skyrim. Uh, just because, you know, as you've seen in um, the Argonian Mage walkthrough, I really enjoyed Hardfire and I think more people should give it a try. And uh, one other game that I've been uh, able to grab was Game of Dwarfs, I believe. And, uh, you know, I'm planning to get at least two more games to give out, so uh, stay tuned. And, and that's basically the little uh, little heads up there. Oh, hey, Wolfies! I think I have my hit scout more still turned on. There oh, you go. I definitely am getting better, or I'm feeling more secure with the combat. Bouncer? What the hell is a bouncer? Small note. Interesting. I've never seen a bouncer before. It looks like a vampire to me. Let's see what the small note says. Uh, drill. I need you to go out and find the missing pit wolves before the next tournament. We lost too many during the last fights and we won't be able to train new ones in time. Find them and bring them back to Crack's Lane at once. And it gave me a map update. How nice. Oh, uh, uh, apparently I found a pit wolf. So th that's what these wolves are. Oh. There you go. Okay, we'll just go and walk from here. Um, five, was it? There you go. Regenerating some of my health while walking. That's something I don't understand. I should be regenerating stamina no matter what because of um, the thingy that I'm wearing, but yet it is refusing to regenerate at all. See, I'm wearing the flask. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, I think his skin was really powerful in the beginning, but it's slowly losing its um, oomph, if you know what I mean. Definitely not going into Helgen right now, it's a mess and there's lots of enemies that probably will all kick my ass. So we're gonna go and be sneaky and go past it. It's nothing. I have no idea why my horse is running away. See, ah, this away then. Uh, thank you all, by the way, for the suggestions that you give me for this let's play and help things get along. Uh, as you can see, I do take them into consideration, and uh, I will use them if they're uh, striking my fancy. Iron ore, iron ore is always good. We need to get our iron, uh, our smithing up get better armor etc etc there you go for those of you wondering why my uh, mining is so fast I installed the faster mining mod a little while ago for the simple reason of that this is a let's play and I want to keep things a little bit faster going we have a level up so <coughs> health for sure let's have a looky shall we smithing Oh, we're getting pretty close to getting meltdown. That's good. And dwarven rigging will is nearing as well. Uh, let's see, light weaponry. I went with our uh, standing power attacks. I have a chance to decapitate decapitate enemies. Um. 
I'm, I'm, I'm really leaning towards going for the Bladesman. It just works for me. There you go. Uh, critical charge. Nah. Anything else that is striking my fancy? Not really. I'm gonna save that one perk for smithing or something like that, just to keep it on the side. Just keep on the road, we're too weak to travel and go like herpa derpa. One thing I'm not looking forward to is that troll that I'm going to find out in a few. That's gonna be interesting. What is that over there? Oh no, I'm out of here. These guys wanted to cut off my hat. Do I kill them or not? They probably end up killing me at the moment. So, why do you join the Star Wars? Yeah, never mind. I'm not in the mood. Oh wait, Stormcloaks! Stormcloaks are the good guys! Whoa! Good thing I didn't attack. I... 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 Sh um, wow. It's Imperials that are the problem. Sorry guys, just completely... Okay, I'm just pausing the footage here until we actually find something interesting. Or maybe there's something interesting? Hello there! It's not like my potion is hurting uh, it's just a hunter. Okay, so guys, just a quickly... Uh, just, just basically quickly, be right back. And here we are again, folks. I uh, just went along the path and just killed some animals and stuff for hides and there's some wolves here. So yeah, I'm 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 definitely feeling like I'm getting stronger. Which is a good thing. I'm definitely feeling stronger than the first time I started. That was horrendous. Uh, there's, there's like a bear up ahead and a few more wolves. So I'm just going to go and walk this path along with you guys. There's a little cabin to the left. With our chemical components that we are going to be looting clean. There you go. Book. Ah, we don't do books. Night vision. Barrel. What's this? Alchemist journal. I'll take this with me. Um, we're actually just gonna go and use that journal as a reason why he's going into alchemy. Would that make sense? Ooh, charcoal. Let's have a look at the journal. It's out of saving. Oh no. The journal. The local flora seems to have many useful properties that I've been able to utilize into new potions. Outside, the rich soil has allowed the cuttings I've collected to grow into fine and bountiful plants. This afternoon, I think I will journey out for more mushrooms. As my current supply is beginning to dwindle. On a personal note, I have moved my alchemy work outside the shack. I find the midday air is a boon to my health as well as inspirational to my work. Yeah, we're definitely gonna use this. Uh, like, like, we have read this, now we're going like, hey! That's a good reason for the character to start using alchemy. At least in my personal opinion. Would you agree? Guys? Uh, no, I don't have anything really yet. It's okay. We'll, 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 make, we'll make it better later. But... Now for now, that definitely works, and I kind of like that idea that this is the, the sole reason that all of a sudden he's interested in alchemy. It, it just seems to work in my mind. Yes, yes, I know, poor dear, but you know what, it's giving me a uh, uh, valuable Hides and venison and oh spider. Ah. 
And that's actually my timer folks. So I'll be right back.